Hello and welcome to this new exciting tutorial. It's always our great pleasure to have you follow us. So in this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to use Fireflies.ai. Fireflies.ai helps to automate your meeting notes. It helps transcribe, summarize, search and analyze voice conversations for you. With Fireflies.ai, you will be able to transcribe meetings across several video conferencing apps and you also be able to invite fireflies.ai note taker to meetings on your calendar and uh, with fireflies you'll also be able to capture video and audio and then generate transcripts in minutes the good thing also is that you can integrate fireflies with apps like google zoom teams webex ring central air call and other platforms again with fireflies.ai you are able to review a one hour meeting in five minutes and then with one click you can see action items tasks questions and other key metrics and you'll also be able to filter and listen to topics discussed in a meeting so how now do you begin to use fireflies.ai you simply come to fireflies.ai and the link to this website is available in the description of this video. Then you click on get started for free down here. And then you will log in or register an account using Gmail or Microsoft. The login process is very easy. You simply click on that, put your email, put your password, and then you answer basic questions. And after that, you'll get to this page. And so you'll have a seven days business plan free trial. And then this is the homepage. You notice up here, we have 800 minutes left. That is the total space to store your meetings and you can add teammates to get more storage. And so this is how your dashboard for Fireflies will look like. And as I've said, it helps you greatly when it comes to holding meetings. Once you come to the homepage on the right hand side here, you will notice that we have the current meeting settings, which you can change. You can change how Firefly will join your meetings. In this case, you notice up here, meeting Fireflies will join. You can either indicate join all calendar events with the webconf or join only calendar events that I own or join calendar events only when I invite fred at fireflies.ai and then you can decide also who will get the notes sent to them so for instance if i click on the drop down menu here you see the notes get sent to either only me and participants from my team then send recaps to everyone on the invite and the last one send recaps to me only so you can decide who will get the recap Maybe in this case, I can select recaps to be sent to me and everyone in the invite. And then that is it. So that's how you set up the meeting here, how Fireflies is going to be joining your meetings. So down here, you notice we can add to a live meeting. So how do we do that? We simply click on add now. And then on the capture live meeting, Fireflies Notech Assistant will be added to the meeting. And then you can add your name, which is optional. And then you can add here the meeting link. So in this case, let me just add my, the meeting name. So I'll go back to my calendar. And you notice here, I've already created a meeting called tutorial meeting. So I'll simply do the same here. I'll call this tutorial meeting. And then here, I can now put the meeting link there. So I'll go back to my calendar. Here is my meeting. And of course, it's here on Google Meet. This is the meeting. So now my meeting has begun. If now I want to see the participants here, I click on participants. So you notice currently there is one participant here. That's me. And I'm the meeting host. So I want to share this link and copy that to Fireflies. So I will click on meeting details and then I'll copy the joining info here. So I have copied the meeting link. Then I'll come back to my Fireflies 
and then I'll paste that link there. And then I'll click on the meeting language that is English Global. And then I'll click on Invite Fireflies. So you get this notification. Fireflies Assistant has been invited to the meeting. And then if the meeting had not started, I would click on Start that meeting. And then now here, I'll click on Join Meeting. And then now you notice here I'm getting a notification that someone wants to join the meeting. And now if I go to my meeting and show the participants here, let me view that. If now you notice here, one is waiting to be admitted here. So I'll click on Admit. And now you notice in my meeting, I have three people that I've invited. One of them being this Fireflies AI note taker. So this is the Fireflies that has just joined. So you notice now I have my two accounts added here. And then we have the Fireflies added also as a participant. So now you now notice our meeting has already been added here. And then it's processing. So you notice Fireflies needs to stay inside the meeting for at least three minutes to process the transcript. So I can, if I now I stay there for more than three minutes, then I'll be able to get a transcript here. So I can make it stop capturing a meeting, but I can also make it continue capturing that meeting. And so that is how you add Fireflies to your Google Meet meeting. So, and then you'll be able now, after that meeting is over, you'll be able to get your transcript and all that. So still you can click here on open the meeting and then you'll be able to join the meeting or you can switch it off here so that Firefly will not join and record this meeting. So if you wanted to join, you'll simply click on that. So this is a setting that you can adjust per meeting. You can also be able to search for the meeting transcripts here and you simply search here and then you can adjust the filters here. Now on the notebook for Fireflies, you are able now to select a notebook for your meetings and all meetings or all meetings shared with you. If now I click on all meetings, you notice here, we don't have any transcribed meeting, but then we can add meeting notebook there where we can transcribe your first meeting. You schedule your calendar event by inviting Fireflies, transcribing a live meeting or uploading a media. In this case, I can schedule here. Then it will take me to my Google Calendar and I'll be able now to create my meeting here. Or I can also upload an audio and then uh, or a video and then I get a generated transcript and I can also drag and drop an MP3 here, MP4, WAV or M4A. Then I'll be able to get a transcript generated for the uploads there. So for the playlist, I'm able to organize sound bites with playlist and this helps to keep uh, your favorite sound bites organized and easily shareable across your team. So to do that, you simply click on create playlist. But if you have already created a playlist, you can look at your playlist or all playlists. So to create a playlist, you simply click on create a playlist. Then you give your playlist name and then you can decide who has access to this. Is it public or is it your team? or is it private? So you can create a playlist here, security situation, and then you can decide this one will be for your team. And then you can just click on create. And then you now notice we have our security situation playlist created there. And then of course, with these three dots down here, you can rename that, you can share, and you can also delete it. That's how you use the playlist. And then for the meeting status, you will be able to see and to view all the meetings here. So all meetings currently are viewed. You notice all the, only the meeting that we created here. And you notice the status is that the meeting is active. And then when it comes to integration with the Fireflies, you will be able to integrate Fireflies to Aircall, Asana, Bluejeans, Box, ClickUp, Close, Cooper, Customer Success Box, that is CCB, and then Dropbox, Email, Fireflies, API, Flash sales and so many more, including Google Meet, like we have just demonstrated, Google Docs, Microsoft Teams, and many more. I hope that has been a helpful tutorial how to simply use Fireflies.ai, which helps you to automate your meetings. Kindly like this video, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.